What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to TTB Ravens Media, bringing you Ravens content every single day. If you didn't know, the Ravens just finished their you know final preseason game of this year yesterday or last night it was, and I'm going to be doing my you know initial kind of reaction to that. Joshua and I will be going live tomorrow night, and we will be doing our final 53-man roster prediction, so make sure to come through to that as well because the final rosters are due on Tuesday. Um, I believe it's due at 4 p.m. I think it's 4 p.m. Eastern time, um, but I live on the West Coast, so it might be 4 p.m. Pacific time, but I think it's 4 p.m. Eastern time. So we will be doing that. Don't worry. Stay tuned. Come back tomorrow. Uh, that'll be then. But in today's video, I need to talk about a recent signing the Baltimore Ravens made. Demarcus Robinson. When the first made that move, I was excited. I was very excited because I was like, this guy can go deep. This guy can make big plays. This guy can make jump balls. This guy's the whole package of what we need. He also can run block. And a lot of people were upset with that move. And they were looking at it and they were like, huh, you know, I just don't really like this move. I don't think he's a guy that really moves the needle. I, you know, I, I don't think I would take him over any of our, you know, four receivers. You know, I don't know if he's going to be seeing much playing time. This is a, you know, a Seth Roberts type move. I would rather see Willie Sneed. I saw a lot of things. There were also a lot of people that are very supportive. Don't get me wrong. But Demarcus Robinson in this last game showed exactly why the Baltimore Ravens went out and got him. Exactly why. I mean, heck, the first play or the first passing play that Anthony Brown had as a quarterback, we see a double move from Demarcus Robinson. I mean, oof, beautiful double move. Absolutely cooked the defender. 67-yard touchdown, um, you know, to start off the game or to start off, you know, his play with a quarterback that can utilize his skill sets by throwing the ball deep. It was unbelievable. You know, we saw that play and it was like, okay, um, there's the deep ball. There's the type of player that we've been needing because that's the thing the Ravens passing offense has been missing, especially since we lost Hollywood Brown. Because outside of Hollywood, who was the guy that was burning everyone? Nobody. Nobody was the guy burning people with Lamar Jackson. It was Hollywood. Hollywood got behind the defense. You know, Sammy Watkins did it once in the Raiders game. That's about it. So it was like, okay. How are we going to bring that back? Now, obviously, we can give potential to Duvernay. We can give it, you know, give some opportunity to Bateman, give some opportunity uh, to Prochet. I'm not saying they can't do it, but we went out and we got a, a receiver that can block and that, you know, has the ability to go deep. And is he the fastest player in the world? No, he's not. But just because you're not the fastest doesn't mean you can't make big plays. And he went out there, ran a great double move, and that entire game he was on. Believable. He looked like he should not have been playing. Like he was so much better than everyone that matched up against him. He finished the game with um he finished the game with four receptions, 135 yards. And I still believe the NFL missed the call uh on his touchdown reception that was called incomplete because they said he didn't drag his foot. But for some reason, the the I don't know who's in charge. You know, I think they do a great job, but whoever was in charge of the Ravens broadcast. They were refusing to show the angle properly, and they kept freezing it for some reason when his right foot was down. But when you look at the replay and you look at the photographs, the ball is in his arms with his left foot on the ground. And the in the video review, they kept not showing that. And I was like, why aren't they showing, like, you know, come on, go frame by frame and move it back, and you'll see, like, maybe, you know, I, I obviously didn't know 100%, but I was like, hey. That foot is down when the ball is getting there. So maybe they'll be able to show it. And they end up, I got to fix that, get, get it to uh, resume in on me. Um, but overall, that looked like it was a touchdown. And I think the NFL missed that call. But, he, I mean, he he burnt the defender, had great space, great throw from Anthony Brown once again. You know, shocker. I really like Anthony Brown's play. I love him. I think he should be the backup quarterback. But Demarcus Robinson added an element to this offense that none of the Ravens free agent signings have been doing since Steve Smith, probably. I think Steve Smith would be the last one, which is coming in and making an instant, instant impact as a player that you don't want to match up against. Because the Ravens have made free agent signings, you know, Willie Sneed, Seth Roberts, uh, Sammy Watkins. And those signings, it's like, okay, they've played. But just because you play doesn't mean that you're an impact. Demarcus Robinson looks like he could be an impact player. And that's not saying he's wide receiver too. I'm not saying that. He could be. But I'm not saying he's wide receiver too. But there will be games where he will go out there and he will put up a great play or have a great reception or, you know, just have a great game. And Lamar Jackson's going to start hitting him. 
And that is how you make an impact is in those crucial moments, which is what he always seemed to do in Kansas city. Like whenever they needed to play, um, it was like Demarcus Robinson is there for some reason. It was like Demarcus Robinson. Everyone's focusing on saying on Tyree kill. They're focusing on Travis Kelsey, even Miko Hardman. Boom. Demarcus Robinson. That's what happened against the Ravens uh, multiple times. I believe he's going to come in and be the wide receiver that we've been looking for. An explosive wide receiver, a big play maker. And he's doing it at a very cheap cost because I think a lot of people they've been wanting Oh, why aren't we getting Antonio Brown? You know, and this is over the last couple of years. Why aren't we getting uh, Allen Robinson? Why aren't we getting Kenny Galladay? Why aren't we getting, um, I can't think of any other. Oh, Juju Smith-Schuster. Why aren't we getting these guys? Those guys are signing for $10 million, uh, $15 million. I think Kenny Galladay was $19 million. Uh, or they're not signing at all, case may be. And that's why we're not getting them is because they're so expensive. And I'm not saying Demarcus Robinson is better than any of those players. But for the situation the Ravens have been in, which is limited cap space, it allows them to be able to do other moves, make other signings, right? You know, the Ravens get Demarcus Robinson. Is he as good as Allen Robinson? Maybe not. But getting him allows us to get Michael Pierce. Getting him allows us to get Morgan Moses. We spend all that money on a wide receiver, all of a sudden, we're lining up Terry Phillips at right tackle this season. And I think a lot of Ravens fans will be very happy if we don't have to line up Terry Phillips at right tackle. I know Lamar will be happy because Terry Phillips should not be playing tackle. But if we spend all our money on wide receivers, we're not going to be able to get the offensive lineman or the defensive lineman or the you know other play, positional players that we need. That is why I think this Demarcus Robinson signing is just it's going to work out so well. I mean, we've already seen him come in and play with, like, let's be honest. What was the best wide receiver performance of the Ravens preseason? I know a lot of people may say, like, oh, but Shamar Bridges is really good. Yeah, Shamar Bridges was nice. He made two catches. Um, you know, they were pretty impressive. Demarcus Robinson looked like he shouldn't be out on the field because he was so much better than everyone else. It, it reminded me of, you know, how, how dominant Isaiah likely was. Same thing with Demarcus Robinson. And that is going, I mean, that was his first game. It's not like he was someone that, oh, yeah, he's been developing that chemistry with, with Anthony Brown and Tyler Huntley. You know, he's been ready. It's like, no, he showed up and was just like, hey, yeah, watch this double move. Boom, I'm open. Hit me. Touchdown. That's how it was working. And as he develops, you know, that chemistry with Lamar Jackson, it's only going to get even better. Uh, from there so overall I think this was a perfect signing I would love to hear your guys' thoughts overall on the game you know Joshua and I will be live tomorrow um, I believe at 6 p.m eastern time so make sure to come back to then uh, let me know your thoughts on Demarcus Robinson and you know just overall on the game how you think it went but thank you so much for watching subscribe for daily Ravens content and I'll see all of you again tomorrow